I'm Lisa Naples, and I'm the founder and director of the Elephant's Eye Studio Tour. We create access for the public to come out and visit contemporary artists in their studios. Um, these intimate spaces are typically private spaces, so by doing this, you'll come out on our tour in May, drive from studio to studio, potters, painters, photographers, wood turners, and gain an, an intimate sense of what it is to live and work in Bucks County as a contemporary artist. At the Elephant's Eye Studio Tour, we have no fees attached, no reservations or tickets required. We just would love to see you come out and join us in May. The Elephant's Eye Tour to me is very important because it's all about really connecting the community with local artists. It really gives artists a chance to connect directly with people. The Elephant Eye Tour has been very helpful for me as, as an artist to sort of see myself at a distance a little bit or to see what the working process looks like through uh, through other people's eyes. The public is always very, very interested in seeing artist spaces. It's not common that one has the opportunity to go to a studio and experience art live. The availability of the talent, the, the artwork, the studios, the artists in this whole area it makes people very aware of what's here. The Elephant's Eye Studio Tour wants to reach, wants to be an inspiration to as many people as possible. To be an artist, for me, is, it's different things on different levels, but essentially it is finding the voice inside of yourself and finding a way to e express it. I've really felt like I was an artist since I was a child. It seemed like a way of having a voice and to close out all the voices outside that say what you should do or what people want you to do or what they're used to you doing. That's a, a really difficult but important part of being an artist. And it's just, it's a way of life. It's a way of seeing the world. I think probably if I really go back to where the mixed media started for me, I was always interested and still am in watercolor painting and I've done a lot of it. However, I was never really satisfied with my watercolor paintings and I started tearing them up and reassembling them. That's when it really took off for me. I didn't always know I was going to be an artist. I always knew that I enjoyed art even at a young age, but I, I kind of set off on a different career path and I kind of went through the, uh, the proper channels, if you will. Uh, you know, go to college, get a good job, and all those kind of things. And then I, I realized at a certain point that uh, <clears throat> it didn't have the meaning that I thought it should. I finally got the guts to become an artist when uh, I was in my mid-40s. Art, for me, is about those conversations. You know, putting my guts into my work and then telling people what it's about for me and hopefully connecting with them in a way that they can tell me their stories. I tried uh, many things, painting, writing, um, acting, all with the idea that maybe this would be my life's work. I saw a few minutes of a film about Edward Weston and about six months later I found that I was looking at the world as if I had a camera. I discovered all kinds of art history courses in all kinds of mediums and I began to study them all and when I um, discovered a history of photography course I was totally smitten with photography so I began to delve instantly into photography very very seriously. A long time ago I defined art and I defined it as expression contained within a form. Without the form there's no art. Art to me is, is an entire way of life. Uh, everything I do and look at is part of my musing. I can't imagine the world without art. It's the most nourishing, beautiful thing that keeps us sane. Art's important be because it connects ourselves to the greater, to the world outside of ourselves and to each other. Art fundamentally is its, is its own spirituality, its own religion, its own political statement, its own world, if you wish. 
I think to be within the arts, to be an artist, to be a part of the art community is an opportunity to experience both the, the images, the elements, and also the philosophy of other thinkers. I don't think any of us are ever really sure when we become artists, but I do know that as a little boy I was a maker. But it wasn't until I had gotten into college, started working in ceramics, that I realized that I had a real flair for form and a great desire to, to create. The beauty of art as a lifestyle is it's inclusively giving back. It's constantly giving back. Art is really a, just a, a lens through which I can uh, understand the world a little better. Painting feels like the most natural expression to me to uh, conjure kind of the images that are in my head or how I relate to my vision. I'm not a great speaker, I'm not uh, the best writer, so I, I think I can usually hit the nail on the head uh, without painting. I find art to be at its best when it's this very uh, vivid mystery. For those of us who make art, it's a life force. It's a, it's a life force that re requires you to let it out. I mean, the people that are on the Elephant Side Tour are all contemporary artists who have that need to express themselves. I need to do this. If I don't do this, I, I would be adrift. Being, being an artist is a privilege. What it means to me personally to be an artist is, um, is the chance to express myself, to feel my value in the world. I, I find myself discovered every day or every week in the studio. From year one, it's been important to me to have a day that we call the education day. And that's a day that we can bring students, and hopefully at some point elderly as well, um, out to meet one-on-one -on -one with the artists. So the Friday before we open for the, for the public, we are each visited up to, by up to three groups, um, from area high schools, colleges, and in some cases middle schools. And so I think that we would have everything covered if people did what they love. So that's the whole idea behind the, um, the education piece is that give people a chance, give young people a chance when they're young to see that it's possible. My vision is very clear for the future. I see this becoming an event that um, is visited upon by uh, thousands of people eventually um, coming from all over the country. I think the sky's the limit.